All right, guys, what's going on? Um, just going to do a quick little video here. I look really, really pale. But now you can't really see me that well. And uh, I got, ended up getting this uh, new piece of equipment. Um, I did get another weed eater. And uh, I don't think I'm really going to do a review of it just because I, I don't have that much time on it right now. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. Um, so I did go ahead and uh, get the FS94R. Um, it was 350, but they actually he get he um, my local dealer was able to get it give it to me for like 325. So uh, <clears throat> um, I, like I said, I was looking at this one. Um, I had been looking at the FS90R, and uh, while I've used that one in the past. Um, I liked it. It was just at the end of the day, it, it's too heavy, um, especially for most of your weekly or bi-weekly lawns. It's really good for you know your heavy-duty cleanups or something like that. And uh, anyways, uh, I ended up liking this one a little bit better, and uh, really just because it's it's pretty lightweight, guys. And uh, I mean, I want to say, I mean, it's like a pound or something lighter, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, eight, ten hours, whatever. That makes a huge difference. Really well balanced, guys. And, uh, I mean, this thing is, like, amazing. Um, now, it does have this uh, kind of like a, uh, what would you even call it, cruise control kind of thing. And uh, so you can put it all the way down, and you can only pull the trigger in just a little bit. That's pretty much like an idle or, like, all the way back. And you can throttle it all the way. And, uh. You got your your uh, off button right there. It just presses in, and uh, but anyways, a lot of people said they didn't use it at all, and really, I didn't see myself using it either. Um, the only other piece of equipment I've gotten lately was that Edget Pro right there. I don't know if I can take that off and put it on the steel though, um, but if I can't, I'm th I was thinking about actually buying one for this, and then that way. You know, you could have it at all the way and weed eat. And then if you wanted to go edge, you could just turn the power down so you don't have as much power coming out. Um, so that way you're not flinging in rocks or anything like that. And uh, that was one of my thoughts. Um, take a look at the back for you guys. But, uh, yeah, so you got the choke back here. Turn it. Push it in. And then uh, switch hands real quick, guys. And then you go to throttle it, and it lets out like that. Your primer bulb up here, um, uh, spark plug in here. I think I haven't really taken it apart or anything. And uh, air filter, uh, gas tank over here. One thing I didn't know is that it kind of has a little. Um, gas gauge kind of thing in there because it's actually not clear right over there like most of the other steel products you could just like look through but it's actually like a solid plastic and they get they give you like that little window right there to kind of look through um, not sure on how much fuel it holds the specs and everything you can go to steel's website and uh, I don't have my little tripod on me right now so I'm just gonna have to like place this camera and uh, See if I can get a, a good spot. It's okay, it's not my favorite. I'm just kind of do like a cold start, uh, warm up here. Push the choke in and uh, make sure it's like all the way full throttle. I don't, I don't really prime my stuff, so we'll just see. Maybe I get one prime.
so uh, yeah that's just a quick look at it and uh, hopefully though once uh, the spring starts to kind of roll around and maybe we'll get some videos with it and uh, really put it to the test I've probably only got about an hour and a half on it though so I don't really want to do a review on it um, just yet because um, I, I don't feel like I have enough time on it to really go over the pros and cons about it um, but anyways just kind of showing you all it there real quick and uh, I think the next one I go with if I get another one I think is like the it's like the FS 100 something I want to say and uh, that way it's it's only 0.3 pounds heavier than the 94 here but you get like 31 something cc I want to say so it's it's lighter than the FS 90 but way more powerful than the FS 90 and so and it was only like it, it's like 10 or 20 bucks more than what this is but I think it, that'd be really awesome to have for you know thick cleanup um, jobs and stuff and then uh, this right here is would do me great on most of our our uh, delicate and weekly or bi-weekly stuff that doesn't have a whole lot of like um, brush cutting and stuff like that and uh, anyways I actually just ordered some new tires for my truck by the way um, I ordered the Goodyear Duratrax and I think they're gonna look pretty pretty sweet on there so uh, yeah that's just a quick look at this guys and uh, I'm gonna try to be making some more videos um, it's just I mean it's been really cold here lately um, probably not as cold as some of you guys have had um, but we've been down in the 20s and you know just going outside and um, you know it's just it's makes you not want to you know do all the preparation to get your camera out and everything and set it up film move it set it up somewhere else film move it you know so uh anyways hopefully spring will be here soon and uh, maybe we'll get some videos with this thing so uh till then see y'all later